AI, so the new frontier, how do you see that um, playing out uh, in different industries? What are some of the, I suppose, interesting stories you've heard and case studies? Yeah, so there's two, there's two parts to the, or to the question. There is, you know, the scenario itself, which is a society that is um, much more influenced and AI is much more pervasive. So that's kind of one part of it. We can, we can certainly talk about um, that aspect. But then there's also the use of AI in management processes and in strategic processes, which I talk about um, in the book, which is, you know, traditionally AI and it's a rapidly advancing technology um, has been used in, you know, a lot of operational processes. But what we're starting to see is um, its use in more strategic processes. And the fundamental challenge that organizations have, which I talk about in, in quite some detail in Disaster Proof in the book, is we've got more and more data than ever before. You know, IBM would say we've created more data in the last two years than the rest of humanity and history combined. Mm. And the question is, or the challenge is, how do we deal with this data? What does it mean? What are the insights? How does it inform our decisions? How do we make sense of it? And that's the challenge. And as humans, we've reached our capacity in many cases and in many situations. And what I talk about is that we can use, you know, in some cases, existing technology, between, particularly around natural language processing, which is a form of AI or a particular subset sector or subsection of AI to help us process information and data. And I think if you think about and you take a step back and say, well, what scenarios? Scenarios is really helping us make sense of the world. What's happening in the world? What uncertainties are at play? What risks are at play? And if you can use AI to help uncover those risks, make sense of those uncertainties using, you know, mathematical algorithms, you have potentially a very powerful tool to make sense of the world in a very rapid way. One of the examples that I talk about in the book is that the Canadian government for a period of time was using NLP to um, make sense of 10,000 data sources as it relates to emerging viruses. And so they were able to use this technology to successfully identify MERS, H1N1, SARS, these kind of viruses as an early warning signal. You know, the US are using natural language processing and machine learning technology for hurricane detection, an early warning system again. The military is using it in military planning. Investment bankers are using it for highly complicated rapid transactions. The, the new frontier for me is that, you know, as it relates to thinking about the future, which I talk about in Disaster Proof, we are going to continue to see NLP, AI, machine learning, RPA, these tools and these technologies being used in, you know, very uh, advanced way to inform our strategic like never before. And so to me, that's one part of your question, which is AI enabling strategists and CEOs in new and, and, and quite interesting ways in the future. And then there's the other part of your, I think what you're getting at, which is, well, what does an AI future actually mean as a scenario in itself, which is a different, a different question, so to speak.